Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I hope that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Go ahead and give him praise, give him honor, give him glory. I'm going to hit it and quit it. Praise God, hallelujah. So basically, I got up on here because God was talking to me about something. And I was like, you know what? I really need to tell the people of God this because this has been happening, not just to myself, but to a lot of believers. No, no, a lot of people that God have called. Let me clarify it. In this season, I'm going to say it again, in this season is treason. You cannot just connect with anybody. You are not Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk this thing out like I'm supposed to walk it out. Because you got to understand, there are dream killers. There are people assigned to stop you. There are people assigned to sabotage you. And hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm about to walk this thing through. It's not going to be people like you think from the outside. The devil is using people on the inside because the outside, you know, and especially in this season, we're not letting people get close to us. We don't know you like that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to use wisdom and discernment, but we're not letting you get close to us. So the enemy is using those that are around you that don't like you. Those around you that are jealous of you. What am I saying? Oh, I'm about to walk this thing. Let me slow it down. How many times you've looked around and my scripture reference for this is. John 6, 70, 6, 70, and it says, then Jesus said, I chose the 12 of you, but one of you is a devil. That's my scripture reference. Now, let me go ahead and do what I'm saying. How many times, and I'm going to use myself, for example, we see that thing from the gate. You know, if a person like you, if a person don't like you from the gate. But I think because we have the love of God in us, we just ignore the red signs. We ignore this. We ignore that. You can't do that anymore, God says. I'm going to say it again. You can't do that anymore. Jesus knew. He had already. He, he said, one of you a devil. That's way before he even betrayed him. So he knew his spirit. What am I saying? You know who's not for you. How many times you've seen that, that, that spirit of jealousy, that spirit of envy, that spirit. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. And what we do is we ignore it. And then it grows. Let me continue. Let me start. Let me tell you how this whole started. Peter, confession of faith. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered then, have I not chosen you? You the twelve, yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking about Judas, the son of Simon, Eruscar, I'm sorry. For although Jesus was one of the twelve, he was later to betray Jesus. He hadn't even betrayed Jesus yet. And look what happened. Why are you waiting for people to betray you, God says? Oh, Lord, I got to walk this thing out. I got to walk it out. My God, my God. I didn't know you was going to make me do all this. Okay. When all this stuff started happening with me, with the deaths of my uncle and my aunt, it made me focus more. It made me pray more. And, and I, I know you see a more intense Deanna. Come on, somebody. I'm not playing with nobody. Because guess what? He's not playing. And guess what? I, 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 I understand what it is. You see, you know what faith is? Faith is, God, I love you when, when things are good. But I love you also when you allow what you allow. That's faith. God, I love you. Good, bad, and different. Because Romans 8, 28 says, All things work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. You see, you don't get to just love God when everything is peachy, peachy. God, I love you when it hurts. I love you when it's sad. I love you when it's bad. I love you when I don't understand. Hallelujah. The enemy knows that God is getting ready to elevate you. And I'm not just talking about my, the remnant. I'm going to say it again, the remnant. That's why. That's what the fight's been about. God have allowed heart testing in this hour because he, he sift, he's sifting the wheat and the tares. Which one are you, said the Lord? So what he's doing in this hour is seeing that if you're going to faint in adversity. The Bible says that if you faint in adversity, that means your, your, your strength is small. So God is making sure. Can you stand? You, you want this? I'm going to give it to you. But can you stand? Because as soon as I bless you... The enemy is coming. As soon as I promote you, the enemy is coming. As soon as I anoint you heavenly, the enemy is coming. Can you stand it? Because everybody wants to be promoted. Everybody wants to be blessed. But can you stand it? Can you stand the spiritual warfare? Because it gets intense. It gets hot up in here. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So that means you got to go deep into God. That means you got to get into that word. You got to fast. And you got to pray. And you got to lay on your face. Hallelujah. It gets lonely. Can you take it? Or are you a people pleaser? Do you like to have people prepping you and, and you the greatest and you're this and you're that? Because it's, guess what? When you get to this level, you, you ain't going to have all that. You got to trust God. You got to know God. Hallelujah. So everything that you do, it has to be intentional in this hour. You can't, 
You can't play with foolishness. Right now is not the hour to accept foolishness. In anybody, family, friends, haters, whoever. You have to be intentional, God says. Hallelujah. Check everything at the door. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it was me. Check it at the door. Watch what table you, you eat from. Watch who feeds you. Watch everything in this hour, God says. Because you have an enemy. Like a seek. He's seeking whom he may devour in this hour. Hallelujah. You don't have time to play this game no more. What am I saying? Oh, I'm going to break that thing down. I was looking in my timeline, memories. And it came upon what happened in, in uh, Baltimore last year. Where the husband... And the stepdaughter killed the wife and then lied and said it was a panhandler. And that story struck me because I said, God, what's happening in this hour that husbands are killing wives and wives are killing husbands, which I will begin in the name of Jesus. He says, because they're not praying to me. They're just doing what they want to do. People of God, you have to wait on God. I always tell you, ask God to clarify. So you want clarification and confirmation. Stop moving without God. It may cost you more than you want to pay. I'm telling you, this is not the hour to move without God. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it sounds like. If it ain't God, it ain't God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If God don't co-sign it, that means you, you, you don't sign it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Look, I'm, about to, I'm about to preach up in here tonight. I feel the power of God. Let me tell you why they got contracts in this world. The first contract was the covenant. When he, he died on that cross, he made a covenant. He said, I'm going to die for you, and you're going to die for me. Y'all don't understand. We in contract. So every time the enemy comes and, and brings you a fake contract, and what he's doing is he wants to override Jesus' contract. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's all he did. Let me tell you what he did. Oh, do you see the, the, the first set of Adam and Eve and all of them? Let me tell you what's going on. They didn't have all this stuff. Now we got brand names. Oh, I'm about to tell you. He's trying to put everything in front of us to make us have our direction and to be distracted this way and not to focus on God. That's all he did. Uh, uh, name brand this and name brand that and do this and do that and got everybody pulling. And, and now I'm going to tell you, I'm, I, I just got to make it plain. Everybody chasing money instead of chasing God. Honey, this is about to burn up. I don't know when. We don't know when Jesus comes back. But the Bible says that this earth as we know it is passing away. Hallelujah. Get your priorities in, in check, God says. Hallelujah. Get your priorities in check, God says. I'm going to say it again. Get your priorities in check, God says. Hallelujah. Check everybody. Oh, I'm about to go here. I, I was trying not to say this, but I have no choice. And let me go ahead and do that disclaimer. I don't hate anyone. I love everyone. But let me tell you what happened. So when all that stuff started happening with the deaths of my aunt and my uncle and my dad going through what he going through, it made me evaluate everything, even me. And I looked around and I'm going to be transparent like I always am because y'all need this in this hour. I said my greatest hurt. I feel like I'm at my purpose and my pain at the same time because things are happening that God told me that would happen. And what I realized is the people that I thought was in my corner. They weren't in my corner. So you know what I did? Since you're not in my corner, you need to go over there in that corner. I X'd them out. Then I said, God, send me. This is the prayer. I said, God, send me people that love you. Because I'm fickle. Meaning that I might not get it right every time. I might make a mistake. And, and, and you don't need nobody that soon as just waiting for you to make a mistake. That's not love. That's not friendship. I don't know where y'all get that at. That's not love, friendship. Real friendship say, you know what? You wrong, but I love you. You, you know you didn't do right, but I love you. I, I, I'm going to forgive you, but you better stop tripping. That's love. That's friendship. Hallelujah. I, I, just, just, and in my case, just pick up the phone. You okay? You, can, you okay, prophetess? You okay? Not just when it's conducive for you. You okay, prophetess? I, I, I can't be that, but I just want to know. You okay? Are you okay? That's love. And I can honestly say today, at this moment, at this time, I got some people in my corner. And you know the strange part? They were always there. Oh, I just talked to somebody. You see, sometimes you're looking for this and you're looking for that. And, and you have it right in your face and you'd be like, I never knew. People that love God. And this is the prayer. God, send people that love you more than me. 
Because if they love you, they're going to understand me. You're going to tell them how to deal with me. They, 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 they're going to extend the same grace and mercy. Hallelujah. This is not the season to connect just with anybody. And y'all stop doing stuff because y'all think they got money and they got connections and they connect you. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me for real. When you do that, it doesn't ever turn out like you want it, huh? Because it wasn't even real. I can't tell you how many opportunities that were presented. And I just looked at it and I said, now that's fake. And it didn't look fake. It looked real. But I know it was fake because my spirit said it was fake. I'm saying something. In this season... Pray about everything. That's the whole matter I, I, I got up on here to say. Stop just moving without God. And then when something happens, you're looking crazy. Are you crying? Are you like, well, you happen. That's what happened. Stop moving without God. I'm going to say that one more time. Don't make no move without God. And hold on. Let him confirm. Say, God, clarify. Clarification. That means I know that I know that I know God want me to do this. And confirmation. God confirm your word. God confirm if I should move. God confirm if I should stay. God confirm if I should have this person that's my friend. That's where we at. That's why people are dying. That is not of God. God will never send a husband to kill you. God will never. As a matter of fact, if you think, let me tell you something. Let's talk about that situation that I was talking about in Baltimore. I guarantee you she saw some red flags. But you know what women do? Well, at least he do this or at least she do this. No, know what you deserve and know what you're getting. That's why I'm still single today. Yes, I desire a husband. But if you think I'm going to just pick anybody, hallelujah, the devil is a lie. The devil, first of all, you better come with that anointing. You better be anointed man of God for real. Don't play with me because I'm straight up going to God. And if he don't co-sign you, I'm looking at you like, that ain't God. You ain't of God. And if you don't know how to treat me, I know you're not of God. Women, y'all taking too much. No, the devil is a lie. You don't get to do it that way, devil. You're going to treat me like the queen I am that God ordained, that God sustained, and that God said, hallelujah to his name. Y'all sitting up there just doing everything just to help somebody. The devil is a liar. Stop that. Hallelujah. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be blessed. You deserve to be treated right, said God. I don't care if they have 10 to 1. You know how they got 10 to 1. It don't matter, honey. God got one just for you that's going to love you, that's going to respect you, that's going to keep you that's gonna talk to you right hallelujah stop letting people hit you on side the head talking about but, but I, I, he love me sometimes and hitting you on side the head vice versa too women be abusing men stop that that's not love we got to go back to the biblical point of love hallelujah that's what happened that's what happened you remember i told y'all yesterday in the video it starts at home how you get treated at home that's the way you act at work in church, everywhere. So if your home is disruptive, everything has to be. You can fake all you want. People see it. Hallelujah. I don't deal with fakers. Y'all know I don't play. Just like I am, that's how I roll. So, so when people want to be my friend, I'll be looking at them. You sure you want to be my friend? Because if you fake in any way, you already know. I'm telling you, it's too much going on. You deserve more, said the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. God say, love you, women of God. Love you, men of God. Love you more to wait on God. That God would send somebody that love you for you, even with your ugly self sometimes, because we all got some stuff. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know it's true. But stop taking just anything, God says. God said, I'll never send somebody to hurt you, to abuse you, to use you, to mock you, to lie on you. Y'all be just taking everything just to say, I got somebody. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. And I don't even know how I went after that. So that must be for some of y'all because I don't know how I went that way. <laughs> but I went, oh, I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So I'm going to get up off of here. But I'm telling you right now, life is too short for all that foolishness. Life is too short. Hallelujah. God, let me tell you something. The enemy, he be doing it good. He, he making people, well, you know, so afraid that, that, well, you know, I ain't got time left. Don't think that. Don't take anything that God don't co-sign. Somebody write that in the comments. If God don't co-sign it, I don't want it. And that's from a job, a house, a car. Because guess what? If he don't co-sign it, let me leave you with this. Anything that is birthed in the flesh, 
you have to maintain. God is not obligated. Some of y'all be digging stuff in the flesh and well, God, God, God said, I didn't, I didn't authorize that. But whatever is birthed in the spirit and the natural by God, he is obligated to take care of that thing. Hallelujah. Obligated. That means he'll see it all the way through. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Rule our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Love you all to life. God bless.